For most of the population, it's just another year. But for car enthusiasts, that means the end of one big thing. Two iconic enthusiast cars with a production run that is almost as old as me is now going to the grave forever. And with the electric revolution being right now, Dodge has jumped on the trend to fully ditch their legendary Hemi V8, even though its arch rival still uses a pure V8 for its newest generation. To celebrate the 15 year lifespan of all American muscle, Dodge is giving us 7 last call models, the first being the Challenger RT Scat Pack Shakedown, then came the Charger Super B, and after that they revealed the 3rd and 4th last call models, the Charger and Challenger RT Scat Pack Swinger. 5th in line was the Charger King Daytona, and 6th was the Challenger Black Ghost, but the 7th model will be the most wild Challenger ever. <laughs> Legends never die, they say, but for Dodge, they are literally just laughing in our faces right now. But if you haven't already, just please subscribe down below to help me achieve my dream of becoming a successful YouTuber. I make all types of content on this channel from everything from car reviews, vlogs, my personal opinions, to redesigning cars, to short videos, and even forward videos. It's basically every single thing a car person would want in a YouTube channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down below again, and turn on post notifications so you'll be notified every single time I make a new video. But today's video topic is about the seventh, seventh, yes, that's seventh, the seventh last call model, which will still use the Hemi V8. That is legendary for Dodge and just in the car world as a whole. But this will be the craziest challenger that will ever be made since its 15 year lifespan started. Now obviously it wasn't just 15 years. Over here down in the states we freaking love the challenger because it offered pure enjoyment from an all American naturally aspirated V8 and especially that sound with a manual gearbox. And of course you cannot forget the iconic looks. But the Challenger got cancelled down the line, so what Dodge did was when the new retro revolution sort of thing came in the 2000s, Dodge resurrected the Challenger and Charger. But the Charger didn't really get what people were expecting, it became a four door sedan, and the Challenger still had the retro styling which even today if you blur your eyes on a picture of an old Challenger, compare that to a new Challenger, they honestly look the same when you blur your eyes. Keyword, when you blur your eyes. Dodge, who was owned by the FCA at the time, which is now currently owned by Stellantis, used the 6.1 liter Hemi V8 in the Charger and Challenger. Later down the line, as updates came, it upgraded to a 6.2 liter Hemi V8 and a 6.4 liter, and then for the legendary Hellcat model that came around 2015, the Challenger got the legendary 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8 that produced a mind-blowing 707 horsepower for 60 grand. Now here's what we do know about the last ever Hellcat model. Now, I say maybe it's the last Hellcat model because we don't exactly know if it's actually going to be a supercharged V8, but we can expect it to be a supercharged V8 just like every other Dodge muscle car that's out there. They don't use turbos yet because for the next generation, obviously, they'll use the Hurricane 3 liter inline 6 with two turbos attached to it. So yeah, the Hellcat models will still use the supercharger, but we don't exactly know if that's a fact for the last call model. The seventh one that is. And we don't even know the displacement, so it could be up from the 6.2 liter that we found in the Hellcat and the Demon. So maybe it'll be a 6.4 liter, maybe a 6.5 liter, or maybe a seven liter supercharged V8. That sounds freaking wicked. Now even though that this is the seventh Dodge last call model, its name could be six pack. Yes, I am just as confused as you are because I don't get why they did that. They could have just made six, but they decided to make seven, I guess, because the Charger is also involved. Dodge has teased this final last call model several, several times, and they will continue to do it until March 17th, which is actually St. Patrick's Day, which is this Friday. That's when we will have the last ever teaser, and let me just say, the teasers that we have so far, they are freaking weird, and I mean, they are very, very strange.
The official review will be on March 20th, 2023, which was actually delayed from November of 2022 because of a part shortage. So I'm glad that they actually did figure this out. But one of the reasons that the part shortage was actually happening was because Dodge reportedly blew up the engine seven times. Now we don't know if that's an actual figure that the amount of times that they blew it up, but we do know for a fact that they have blown up the engine multiple times while developing this last call model. So just note that this thing will be just a a freaking beast. It will be just be ripping everything down the drag strip. No, that's not the right term. Dodge has created its own festival at the Las Vegas drag strip for the reveal of the seventh last call model, which signifies how significant it really is. The festival will also feature the new Dodge Charger SRT Banshee Daytona concept thingy that will be the replacement for the legendary Hellcat. Now, from the teasers, they did give us little bits of information, but that continued to speculate, so it's not actually pure facts yet, but we do have some numbers. One of the teasers showed a 215 mile an hour top speed, which is faster than a Ferrari 812 Superfast, a Lamborghini Aventador SVJ, Aston Martin DBS, McLaren 765LT, Ferrari SF90, Porsche 911 Turbo S, and many more. Another teaser showed a PSI of 2,538. Now, we don't exactly know what that number is, but just think, that number is just mind-blowing. That number, it's like, it's unimaginable. But Dodge purists have been speculating that the most likely possibility is that it could be the boost of the supercharger. And usually, like, extremely fast cars, they use, like, I think 30 PSI a boost, 28 PSI a boost, and that's for, like, extremely fast cars. So I don't know what 2,538 could be, which really makes us think, which that's what Dodge was aiming for. And a different teaser showed 7.1 pounds of something, and we don't know what that something is. But my guess is that maybe it's just an extra 7.1 PSI of boost compared to the Challenger Demon, which if you don't know, was the fastest Challenger that has ever been made until this last call model. Back in August of 2022, when Dodge was revealing the SRT Banshee concept and the new last call models, all seven of them, the seventh one was hidden under covers because it was still a prototype, but we could see the license plate and it read 1FAST29. I'm sorry that I'm going to say this last name very badly, but Tim Kuniskis, which is the CEO of Dodge, literally said that it's a hint at his performance. But that could mean a lot of things, like the time it takes to reach the 215 mile an hour top speed, 29 seconds. Or maybe it could mean that the 0 to 60 mile an hour time will be 2.9 seconds, which doesn't really make sense because the demon on a very, very well prepped surface could do it in around 2.4 seconds. So Dodge is being really mysterious with their send off for their most popular car ever. And also the most powerful because here in America, there's no such thing as too much horsepower. The drag strip was where Challenger's and Charger's natural home was. That and in the worst specs imaginable in rap music videos to flex on everyone because they had quote the meanest car in the world, but number 7 will be the meanest car on the road for sure. And the strip because in another teaser from around 3 to 4 weeks ago, Dodge actually teased a quarter mile time of under 9 seconds. Okay, it's 0.1 seconds under 9 seconds, so it's 8.9 seconds, but that's still freaking rapid. And some rumors say that this engine will produce over 900 horsepower only on E85 fuel, and that brings us to the other rumors, which also says that this engine will be tuned to only take E85 fuel. And as I said before, the last teaser will be revealed on March 17th, which is this Friday on St. Patrick's Day, which kind of correlates to their, let's say, strange teasers with the Leprechauns literally whacking things. It's gonna be number seven, but the name could be literally six pack, which doesn't make any sense in my mind, but comment down below what you think the horsepower figure will be. Obviously, Dodge is gonna blow this out of the roof because they literally blew out the engine several times. But if you haven't already, just subscribe down below to help me achieve my dream of becoming a successful YouTuber. I make all types of content on this channel from everything from car reviews, vlogs, my personal opinions, to redesigning cards, to short videos, and even recorded videos, so basically every single thing a car person would want in a YouTube channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down below again, and turn on post notifications so you'll be notified every single time I make a new video. But as always, I do hope to see you in your future video and bye for now. Please subscribe lol I have big dreams on YouTube. Legends never- Oh my god. Make seven I guess because the charger is also involved so bye charger we don't want you charger. Actually no, yes we do.